nine years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer that I'd never heard of called multiple myeloma. We were told it was a fatal disease that people in general live three years. And in my case, it was quite advanced and they told me to get ready to end things in 22 months. So naturally it was a huge shock and felt that that was the end. Just at that time, a new drug had come out, approved by the FDA, but it was so new that nobody really knew how effective it was, would be and how much it might extend people's lives. But I started to take that drug along with a cocktail of seven or eight other drugs, and it began a one-year treatment program. And it, the new drug, which was called Velcade, was most effective. And within the year, I had gone into complete remission. That was nine years ago. And today I am healthier than I've ever been and uh, consider it a miracle. As my recovery began, I met Dr. Chikanover and I found out that Velcade was a result of research, basic research done in his laboratory and Avram Hershko at the Technion in Israel. And when I saw him, I, I could, couldn't even speak with him. I just had to give him a hug. Cancer is one of the greatest challenges of modern humankind affecting many people. For example, the United States has a population of around 300 million people. One and a half million people are discovered yearly as new cancer patients, and about 300,000 are dying yearly from the disease. The disease is an awfully complex disease. It has many genetic factors in it, but it has also many environmental factors. We now understand much better the underlying mechanisms of the disease. As a result, based on our discovery, pharmaceutical companies discovered a way to repair these defects. And one of the drugs, bortezomib, now there is a second generation, is being used to fight one type of quite common cancer. It's a blood cancer called multiple myeloma. It's a very common disease. at the Technion Faculty of Medicine. There is a joining of four labs, the lab of Professor Chekanover, the lab of Professor Neufeld, the lab of Professor Voldavsky and myself. We created the microcosmos to study cancer. We are borderless labs. We do everything together. We educate students together, we buy equipment together, we have joint meetings, seminars, a lot of activities that are together. We have published hundreds of papers of our results I think at the moment there are at least five different compounds in different stages of clinical trials. We created here a very collegial, integrative environment to study cancer. And we started to think about the future. The Technion Integrative Cancer Center that would be here between the faculty and the Rambam Medical Center will combine the three pillars of basic science, basic cancer research, clinical work, engineering and the power of physics and mathematics and computers and biomaterials all together in one center. We are literally 100 meters from the biggest oncology center in the north of Israel, the Ramba Medical Center, and we have several excellent MDs who decided to devote part of their time to research. We treat lots of patients all over the north part of Israel with multiple myeloma and leukemia and all sorts of hematological malignancies. In our lab, we have seen that chemotherapy sometimes could eventually lead to relapse of the disease. We're searching for a way to block this response of the body. One of the main advantages working here in the lab is in the proximity to the hospital. We can take samples from patients and not move them around. It's very close and convenient in that way. I think the Technion is very uniquely situated, probably um, the, the only place in the world to embark on this wonderful initiative of having a comprehensive cancer center. This is really a, a sort of a win-win situation. The research element in the Technion is just phenomenal. It really has this multidisciplinary element that involves not only scientists that are doing cancer research directly, but scientists who 
more affiliated with the physical sciences who can take the knowledge that they have in their particular area and apply it to cancer research. So the ability then to translate the research into the clinical world is going to be accelerated because of that particular unique aspect of the physical science and the biological science working together. So this is really something that is uh, fairly unique, in my opinion, for the Technion. A series of conversations between the Technion and NYU generated the idea that perhaps we should come together and think about how we take advantage of the unique things that NYU has to offer and the unique thing that the Technion has to offer. To take the best possible research, clinical or basic, that is taking place in either one of the institutions. And to look for where the two institutions can complement each other. This is what we hope to achieve by this uh, wonderful opportunity that was given to us to work together. Faculty of Medicine with its wonderful life scientists. Computer sciences for processing large data sets. Electric engineering and physics in order to develop uh, devices. Diagnostic devices, imaging uh, devices. Mathematics to develop new algorithms. The Technion is probably one of the few institutions in the world that has this ability to bring together all the necessary, apparently independent, but practically, awfully, interdependent elements in order to win this battle. And at the end, I truly hope, I almost feel, that we are going to live in a cancer-free world. Nancy and I are forever grateful to Technion and of course the scientists that uh, developed these answers that saved my life. And we have been supporting Technion since I became an adult. So I think that anybody that's interested in seeing these vast human problems solved should consider supporting research. And I think Technion is a great place to do this research. And I'm confident that the brilliant scientists there will come up with many answers that are gonna benefit all of humanity.